everybody, welcome back to Fantastic Microbes and where to find them. Today we're going to be making some microscopic art. Let's check it out. So today we're going to be creating some art through polarized light microscopy. Now my microscope is just a regular microscope, it's not a polarized uh, light microscope. So I have to use this special filter paper which uh, polarizes or, or bends the light in order to get the desired effect that we're going to be looking at. Now if you have one filter paper it will just bend light in one direction, but if you have two of them and you put them together and they overlap, it cancels the light waves and uh, if it's a good filter paper then no light should pass through. Now this is really cool because once if you put something in between uh, those two then you sh should be able to see something. And so that's exactly what we're going to be doing. So on the microscope I'm going to be putting down one of these and then we're going to have the microscope slide and then we're going to be putting down this other filter paper right here and shining it through to look at some crystals. Specifically, we're going to be growing some vitamin C crystals, and I'll kind of walk you through the steps of how I did it. So if you want to do this experiment, this is the stuff that you'll need. You'll need some vitamin C crystals, and you'll want to get the most pure stuff that you can find, um, and then some distilled water that doesn't have anything in it. Um, and then you could also use some isopropyl alcohol. Uh, that just helps things dissolve a little bit quicker, and uh, it also helps things to dry a lot more quickly as well. So as you can see I'm just kind of blending things together uh, in this little beaker here. You don't really need a beaker but I just have some because they make me feel more fancy. Uh, and then as you see I'm placing the things, uh, placing the mixture on the slides here and I'm trying to cover up the whole slide. Now if you have just water it's really hard because the water kind of like builds up because it's got a lot of surface tension but if you use the alcohol it kind of helps and so some of these had a little bit more alcohol than the others, like the one on the far right. Anyway, after a little bit of time, uh, you should start to see some crystals growing. And this is kind of what we saw after a few minutes. So I decided to put this underneath the microscope while it was growing the crystals, and I added the polarized filters as well. So this is kind of what it looks like when it's growing. And this is about 10 seconds of video, but it was, uh, this is a fast time lapse, so it's like 30 minutes. So before I showcase all of the really cool art, I wanted to show what it looks like with the polarized filter on and without the polarized filter. So I'm just moving it back and forth so you can kind of see what it looks like when we're bending the light and when we're not bending it. All right, now before we get into the really cool art stuff, I wanted to show that some of the crystals can sometimes be a little bit too big. And on the other hand, sometimes they can be a little bit too small. So you want to create just um, a concentration uh, that's just right. Um, with this, particular slide that we're looking at, I was kind of scratching the microscope slide to try to seed it and help the crystals grow, um, which they did in some cases. Anyway, let the art show begin! So this is kind of what vitamin C crystals typically look like under the microscope. Um, this uh, color and pattern is what you'll often see. And this is with the lowest magnification, so um, you could probably see these with your naked eye uh, but it's just hard to see through the polarized filter paper, so I'm shining a really bright light through this right now. But yeah, these are really, really cool, super psychedelic. Um, this one kind of looks like a peacock feather to me. And another thing to point out is that it's kind of hard to zoom on these things. So, like, I'm trying to focus right here, and I just can't find the perfect focus because some of these crystals are just so small. Here's what it looks like just from the eyepiece, so zoomed out a little bit. And this was another really cool image that I found. I feel like this was something from space. And this one too, like kind of like a space mountain type thing. Here's another really cool image. It's just a bunch of fan-like patterns that uh, just have so many different colors. It's just amazing. And this one's one of my favorites here. I really like the textures that were created. Um, when I was etching the glass, I accidentally created like a little question mark, um, but didn't really notice it until looking at it under the microscope. And here's another cool picture I took. Um, I really like this one because it kind of looks like a scarecrow sewn together. Um, so kind of spooky looking, but it'd be kind of cool to have as a picture. 
So now I want to hear from you guys. Which of these uh, videos or images was your favorite? Honestly, for me, it was probably the Space Mountain one. I think I'm going to print this one out. But that'll about do it for this vitamin C video. All right, thanks for joining me on this little art project. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button, and I'll definitely be back with some more different kinds of art things that you can do under the microscope over the next couple of weeks. So it'll be really cool to watch. So hopefully I'll see you guys around next time, and have a great day. Or night, or where, whenever you're watching.